Hi, I'm back with some more new bags to show you, starting off with this Fendi bag. I've been eyeing this for quite a while and finally found one. I had to order it online and it's this beautiful sheepskin uh, Fendi bag and it's a bucket bag. And you guys know I'm not a big fan of bucket bags, but this is so cute to me. I saw somebody else wearing this at a grocery shop and I thought, oh my god, I have to find this and this was a few months ago they've th this bag is available from some retailers but not through Fendi directly they stopped making it um, and it's quite pricey over 2000 for this tiny little bag but um, it actually fits quite a bit uh, it will fit your iPhone well any size iPhones um, your wallet, your keys, um, maybe even a small cosmetic pouch. So it's really enough for me to, if I need to run to the store really quickly and I just need a small bag, it's perfect. It's very lightweight. I do love the top handle and, you know, it's a carefree bag. So I'm quite happy with this one. Um, inside of it is it's like a nice uh, suede lining and there really isn't any organization or anything not that it needs it because it as tiny as it is but I do love the hardware on the sides as well uh, with the Fendi logo and uh, the the strap is a little bit thin it is leather um, but because the bag is so lightweight it's very comfortable I just love this color and um, with the Fendi logo monogram type thing it's it's really really cute and it really actually matches a lot of my outfits and it's just very different what do you guys think I know that some other people have done reviews of, for this bag but not not the the sheepskin i think a lot of people like the leather one but this was the only one that caught my eye and i'm really happy to own it um i don't think it's an investment type bag most of these fendies do kind of lose value but my gosh when you find one you like you don't care you just have to go for it and this is definitely one of those bags very very beautiful and the quality is just top notch um, and yeah the bottom of it did fold in a little bit on the sides as you can see here but when I put my stuff in it then it puffs out just perfectly fine um, I'm sorry I don't have any mod shots to show you but the bottom is leather and if you have any questions, by all means, just DM me and I'll try to help you if you if you need to know anything further. But it's a very simple bag. Um, and, you know, for someone who doesn't like bucket bags, and I still went for this, that, that says a lot. <laughs> um, it's just a very, very cute, fun bag. And while I'm not a big fan of tiny bags, I, in this video I'm going to show you some other small bags. For example, this one. This is a great crossbody. I like this because it's patent leather with gold hardware. I love patent leather bags. I know it's not a cup of tea for most people because they say, oh, the leather gets sticky or, you know, it's not. It's high maintenance, which I don't think so. I think it's actually quite uh, forgiving uh, if it's let's say if it gets water on it or um, scratches or well if it's a dark color you don't even really have to worry about color transfer but I just thought this one for YSL was so different it's so cute um, it's so practical and for a small bag it carries quite a bit really easy to get in and out of very comfortable um, over your shoulder or as a crossbody and the sides are detachable so if you wanted to wear this as a clutch you could you could even change out the chain and put like a gold chain on it but either way um, and here is the next one this is a clutch I like the leather on this one this is a really good price point I, it's under 600 it has a magnetic closure 
and um, the inside of it's very simple it's very thin but you can put your phone lipstick keys and it actually closes and it's it's bigger than than I am or it carries more than I imagined um, you know maybe because the size is it's not small you know it's pretty big but I just think for the price point it's great I was considering using it as a catch-all in my larger totes but the hardware on this I think might make my bag a little bit heavier as you can see it already has some scratches on it um, you know everyone thinks just because leather is pebbled or like the Chanel caviar as if they're they can resist any kind of uh, scratches or abrasion but they don't they still get messed up now look at this one guys I received this bag just like this can you believe it I was just shocked obviously I returned this but I just love the color but I'm just going to give up on that this was the only one they had and I just couldn't believe that they didn't bother stuffing it so that during shipping it wouldn't get damaged but I guess it wasn't meant to be, but it is a very beautiful color and the leather was very nice to the touch. <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.